my crew has just returned from 76 days at sea. There must be a dozen boats better rested. Squadron commanders insisting on the most experienced captain and crew available. So thank you, Rui Costa Reyes, uh, for joining us today, and Elias Josephson. And thank you for inaugurating our television studio. You're uh, the chairman and founder of RCR Media Group, which released Phantom uh, in theaters two weeks ago. It didn't do very well, but we'd like to hear about what's your strategy behind that release that you fully financed and distributed, and what's your strategy for the company? It, it, uh, it was a very good experience since mm -hmm. the first day uh, to start uh, shooting this movie and all the production and to, to release in the market. Uh, in first moment it was to, to, to be a straight to DVD movie. They're testing some kind of prototype equipment. We'll try to stay out of your way. Good luck with that. To the Phantom. You understand this is completely classified. Your technicians have no personal records. I don't want any of our crew getting between them and whatever the hell it is they're doing. And then, uh, because the quality of the movie and the actors, we decide to, to put theatrical. So the, the, the theatrical, of course, we, we, we expect to do a little bit more than uh, perhaps we're going to do around one million box office. We expect to do a little bit more, but uh, if we compare with the other releases in that weekend, uh, uh, percentually uh, uh, all the movies was bad. So we, not, we cannot be the exception in the first movie that we release. We just follow the weekend. And, uh, it was good anyway because bring more value to foreign sales and to other insulary deals. So people in Hollywood don't really know who you are. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? So I, I born, raised and live in Angola, it's an African country, and uh, I want to still live there. Uh, I start to, to, to invest in the United States when uh, the things start to be tough in Europe and I, I start to look for new markets. And also, I have two sons. Uh, I have three sons, but one 21 and another one 16, another one with two. But uh, the, the, they decide they want to live in the United States. And for me, the, the, the business that I saw to make uh, money enough to raise the family here, it was the movie business. And uh, we start with 10 movies, co finance with Sony, and we start to learn. And we are very grateful to Sony. It was an amazing, good relationship and profitable. And we learn a lot. After two years and ten movies with Sony, we decide to start to do our own movies. The, and you what's, think there's... What's also, what's also important to mention, uh, Rui, although living overseas and traveling back and forth, he's hands-on the business. He knows exactly what's going on. He's involved in all the decisions. He is fully committed and involved in the business, which makes us and allows us to grow fast do what we did, for example, with this release, we established a whole distribution platform. And Rui has been involved in every meeting, every decision, every step of the way, from a strategy standpoint, of course, but also hands-on working in the office with me and making sure that everything goes as we plan. Has, has this experience with Phantom, has it at all um, given you hesitation about investing in Hollywood, about making movies and di distributing them? Because that's... Uh, the di that's the conversation, you know, how distribution is, uh, is so difficult today. Has it done anything to cause you to hesitate about investing further? No, no, and, and, and uh, for sure it, uh, it's, uh, it's, be, it's, it's a good experience, and, uh, and uh, we want to we will continue for sure. Uh, uh, perhaps it's, it's the people that say it's tough, it's perhaps they don't do the things uh, directly. They, they, they ask somebody to ask somebody to ask somebody to do the things. We, we visit the places, we talk with the people, we close the deals directly. So it's not so difficult. And, and uh, the options we had for Phantom, for example, uh, uh, the offers we had from the studios to release Phantom Domestic, it was not good because they have a lot of movies. They had their own movies. They have better movies than Phantom. And uh, our option, it was to release ourselves. Otherwise, just straight to DVD. And uh, I really think Dukovny and Ed Yaris, they made an amazing job in this movie. And it wasn't fair to put straight to DVD this movie. So, so you have more movies coming up, don't you? This, yeah, is, yeah. Uh, this, is, yeah. this is the start for you. This yeah, is we're going to start uh, shooting soon the, the Hollywood Forever. It's a, a 
zombie zombie movie in the, the graveyard they all live, they all live forever and uh, that's we got to start to shooting this year we're going to release we already closed with Matty Beckerman we're going to release Project Blue Book or Brown Mountain we don't decide the title yet in September and uh, we are closing uh, uh, other deals to, to, to be released this year also so I, I, I I hope we can release three or four movies this year. Let's see what happens. Fantastic. Okay, thank you for coming into the wrap. I really, thank really you. appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.